So uh, to that streamer, how does it feel to lose, even though you won in DVD? Hey guys, Epidemic here. Uh, if you're not caught up with the Toddler Toe situation, what has essentially happened, uh, Spook and Jukes has made a video on him now, and Toddler Toast is playing a victim. He has made all of his Twitter private. He has made his streams pretty much. His VODs and clips are now private or removed. And you have to wait seven days to chat if you're a new follower because of quote-unquote hate watchers. I decided to pop into his stream just to see what was kind of happening. And I didn't really want to make another video. I didn't want to seem like I was milking a situation or something like that. But what I saw is something that I felt like I needed to make a video on. So I'm going to try to do that today. Most people that play DVD, most people that play DVD, this is their first online game. I totally get it. But you probably don't play many games online, do you? Uh, this is more of a nitpicky thing, but you can see whenever Taller Toes talks to someone about something he disagrees with, he tends to be really passive aggressive, as you can see by the comment at the end about, you know, you must not play many online games. But I also know a lot of people play Dead by Daylight. This is not their first online game. They've played many games before then. And most of the kids nowadays, they're playing Fortnite before anything else anyway. And that's the youngest kids that I really know. So I just, I don't see that as truth. Hey, welcome in free advertising uh, revenue. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for the follows. If you're a hate watcher, you got to wait seven days to type. Or you can sub and I'll ban you. Or you can wait until the end of the stream where I'll go in on everybody. And you guys get a chance to talk. Come on in, fellers. Thanks for the free ad revenue in advance. It's pretty clear that he's doing this for the attention. He wants the hate watchers in there. He's talking about ad revenue. And we'll get into this later because I have more to go through before we get there. But he gets surprised when there aren't many hate watchers talking in his chat at the end. And disappointed, he says, when he's literally saying, Oh yeah, thanks for the ad revenue. Thanks for this. I wouldn't fucking stick around if I knew the type of person he was and he was saying all these things. I don't really understand the thought process there. Yo, I got the panelist writer. I hope the kill rates jump up like 25%. Don't put it past these disingenuous killer mains that plague this fucking platform. Don't put it past killer mains to suddenly start playing badly, but just enough to be unnoticed. Oh, guys, don't put it past every single killer main to continue the shit they do, where they all overreact. Guarantee you, suddenly everyone's gonna be sucky at DVD, all of a sudden. I guarantee you, killers are gonna. Oh no, we the, keep the kill rates low. Chat, they already farm MMR. You know how many motherfuckers I've seen farm MMR, like going neutral in games and then going GG well played? Come on, man. They're already farming MMR. You know they're gonna fucking uh, act like, oh, can't play now. I'd like to think that Taller Toast thinks that at the beginning of every month, Odd Starva just grabs every single killer main in Dead by Daylight and drags us all into a darkly lit room, takes off a hoodie and says, all right, guys, this is what we're doing this month. We need to keep the kill rates low. I really need this 50 kill streak on the new killer. And to do that, I'm going to need you guys to play really badly so I can keep these new buffs, all right? You guys understand? All right, go out there, spread toxicity, smack people on hooks. Let's go get them, boys. Oops. Oops. Aw, oh, somebody didn't capitalize on the spirit flow. <laughs> Oh, baby didn't capitalize on the spirit fury. Oops. Somebody didn't do their spirit fury right. So that went on for quite some time, and to save both you and I from watching that shit, I just cut it short. But I want to reiterate, this is the man who told me I stepped into the adult world and got smacked back down. I stepped into his realm, and, you know, I need to be an adult. I need to grow up, and, uh, yeah, yikes, guys, holy shit. Oh, you did. I'm fucked. God damn it. I mean too much. Never mind. You suck. <laughs> you know I'm wasting shat pallet. Oh! I'm sorry! Oh my god, he sucks! Boys, the hate watchers are jealous. They're watching me make plays like this, and they can't say shit. They're jealous. Hey, hate watchers, was that in that video for 22 minutes? Me styling, profiling on these maximum MR killers? Tell me how it feels. Oh wait, you can't. Oh man, it's so fun. I mean, yeah, he's completely right. Spook and Jukes didn't put Taller Toast looping baby killers and baby legions in his video, but I do believe I have a clip of Taller Toast trying to loop against me in my last video, so let's pull it up and see how that went. He has the vault, though, and then if he vaults, it's over. He's not going for the vault, he's going for pallet. Interesting. Oh no, he is going for vault. Hmm, is he? Oh, my God. 
Yeah, he kind of fucked up a little bit there. You know what, Taller Toast may not be that good at dodging being toxic, but he is really good at dodging dropping pallets, so let's give him a quick round of applause, everybody. Yo, Ninja Yoshigara. Yo, Ninja, when you resubbed, I'm going through drama. Remember what we were joking about during Witchlight? How I get under flak just chilling here doing my thing? It's happening again. So I'm sorry, I've been distracted, Ninja. Thank you for the resub on Friday. I'm going through fucking... A thousand people attacking me at once. Plus. A thousand plus. So I won't show the clips again, but you can feel free to check them out in my past video and also in Spook and Jukes' video, which I will link down in the description. But he has done things like, personally to me, called me a pedophile, a cheater, rigging the match. He called Spook and Jukes racist. He's said that Spook and Jukes threatened him. And a bunch of defamation and slander that just frankly isn't true. And I know it doesn't just spread to us two, but those are the two best examples I have to provide. But remember, guys, that's just him chilling there doing his thing. All right, guys. I figured since Spooks and Jukes likes to play dress up and cosplay a cop. I don't know who this Spooks and Jukes guy is, but it seems like he's stealing a lot of Spook and Jukes' YouTube and Twitch content. That's a little messed up, and I hope Spook and Jukes checks into that. I brought a costume of my own for my own segment. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Taller Toast! Oh, yeah, I get it, because Spook and Jukes kind of dresses up like a cop because he's, you know, funnily making a gag about being the Twitch police and cutting down on toxicity, but you dress up as Snorlax because he's large and fat? No, wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, uh, because Snorlax is a laid-back and relaxed Pokemon. Nah, somebody better get me a calculator, because that shit does not add up. And before, it seems like I'm just being really rude for no reason. No, this is literally the direct page from the Pokemon description of Snorlax. Anyways, you guys are about to see the 30-minute segment that Tallertoes is now doing after his streams to have an interaction with the quote-unquote hate chatters, so let's get back to that and see how that went. We like to wear Halloween costume outfits and talk about shit we don't believe in. Let's open this fucking floodgate and let's have them talk. Go ahead, haters. You got 30 minutes, bitches. Go, now. I'm going to try to word this in the least biased way possible because, you know, Spook and Jukes has helped me out and I have gone to him for help on occasions. But Spook and Jukes does genuinely believe in cutting down on toxicity. Just people think toxicity is different on Dead by Daylight. Some people classify toxicity as just teabagging in game or smacking on hook. Personally, I don't believe that, and I know Spook and Jukes doesn't believe that either. But when it comes to slander and defamation on Twitch, I know Spook and Jukes does kind of take that seriously. He was the one I went to when I had no one else to go to when a certain streamer, Shortbrand, called me a pedophile and slandered my community and myself. And now, after he has released his video, both me and another streamer known as Celerity Grounds, if you don't know who he is, check him out, he's pretty damn cool. He was also affected by Taller Toast, and Spook and Jukes shouted both of us out, and we're now getting big support from his community and other people, so that's... Sounds like he believes in it to me, but, you know, maybe I'm just wrong. Okay, Red Riots, what do we got? I'm not here to spread hate. Your streams seem really cool, but I don't think... You know what? Red Riots, I'm gonna save my breath. I'm sorry, man. Wow, that's a lot of words. Hold on, Riot. Give me a moment. I do appreciate everything you're typing. I really do. I appreciate everything you typed. Wow, that's a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them. Damn. 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 I'll see you later, man. No, I'm serious. I ain't reading that shit. 
next? I honestly thought that was a really nice comment, even if I was looking at it from the depiction of Taller Toast. But you notice he was reading it until he got to the word spooks, and that was when he had his little meltdown. And also, wasn't this the guy who said I stole other people's memes? That streamer that just broke three rules and is probably going to get banned. Let me guess. They have somewhere. We're drama free. We like wholesome interactions. They're all the same. They're fucking sheep. They all have the same mental. They all have the same shit. They all copy each other's memes. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure he was the one that said that. All right, let's 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 keep going. Let's see what else happened. Anybody else? Wow, they're awfully quiet today. Wow, they're awfully quiet today. Ah, sup, man. Hi. What up, brother? Anybody else? Or is everyone bored? Is uh everybody uh, everyone already done? No shot, you're done. Surely there's more hatred. Did they give up already? No way. Did they already give up? No shot they did. I'm under attack right now by somebody who really enjoys my content. It's only natural people would be attracted to it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Is anybody else going to speak? Hate watchers, you're quiet? You had all this time to prep and you're done day one? No shot. I just got done on vacation having lots of consensual adult sex, and having a great time. I like how he had to fit that one in there, just like, hey guys, guess what, guess what? I have sex. I, I, I do, I do the sex. I do have the consensual sex. I, I do, in fact, see uh, women or men in my life, and, uh, you know, sometimes I, uh, we, we go in the bedroom and we, we do that sleeping thing, you know, the, the, the sex thing, guys. Goes in just chatting. Reading is hard, LOL. Is it? Because I'm literally chatting right now. I'm literally chatting and not playing games. I just think you're a dumb fuck. We're even now. Next. That wasn't even hateful. That was just kind of funny. But uh, you know what? You do you, man. Why are you making a whole stream about it? No hate. Just asking. Well, thankfully, no one asked. Can I get a who asked in the chat? So you're just asking. I'm here to inform you. Nobody asked. Next. I swear, Taller Toast is the type of guy that when playing tag, if anyone ever got near him, he'd just be like, oh, time out, time out, I, I, I need to drink some water, uh, y you can't tag me. That's a great question, actually, because you made your Twitter private, you made your VODs private, you made your clips private, you actually deleted all the VODs and clips, and yet here you are using the situation for attention, and you even have a whole segment for it that you timed out for 30 minutes. You even had a whole intro with the Snorlax suit, so... Uh, yeah, you want to explain that one? Oh, no, you're just going to deflect it and say who asked. Gotcha, okay. Just wanted to make that one clear. Oh, yeah, and he banned the guy for it, too, if you didn't notice. This is boring. I thought we were going to get more. Uh, I thought we were going to play more. Uh. I'm no expert, but I feel like if you're actively looking for people to be toxic or hateful to you, you probably aren't the victim of the situation. But that's just me, personally speaking, I guess. Alright guys, I'm gonna delve into Taller Toast's mind, and I'm gonna try to make this out for you guys so you can understand the best of my ability of how I understand the situation. You ready? I, I, I just don't understand it, man. I, 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 I waited all the way till the end of my stream. I, I, I ran a lot of ads. I, I told them I was using them for money. Um, and, you know, Spook and Jukes told his community not to spread hate to me or go into my stuff. Uh, I, just, I, I don't understand why there's not a lot of hate comments, man. Like, why can't I use it for content, man? I want content. Are you done? Doesn't read the first nice comment. What? What are you talking about? Let's look at your message history. Last year, LOL GG. I was in game and couldn't do much. Kicks are great toast. And now today. Played against you a while ago. Glad you're growing like this. Are you done? Does it read the first nice comment? Somebody's needy. I'm not even going to ban you. You got enough problems in your life. And that's coming from a man child that's in his 30s in a Snorlax onesie. Basic pitch. You got enough wrong with you, man. Good luck in the future with whatever it is you do. I mean, yeah, someone's needy, all right? I just don't think it's basic pitch. And, um... You know, I might actually try this to try to get partner. Just anyone who supports me, I'm just going to go after them and make them feel stupid. That's a great idea. I think I'll get there in no time. Right, Twitch? Right? Now, this is a result of me running a bunch of ads for about six hours. So I'm not shocked that people didn't stick around. That's kind of the point I'm making. So now, this proves a point to me.
And it's what I was saying from the beginning of the stream. Everyone seems to already be done. In psychology, hatred is an emotion that requires effort. Existing doesn't require effort. Um, a calm, a calm being doesn't require much effort unless you're meditating. Ah, uh, yes, living a calm life is so easy. I mean, it's not like there's anything in psychology that might say you need some things to be stable in life, like maybe a hierarchy of needs. Nah, definitely not. Hatred is really hard, though. Hatred takes effort. Hey, you know what? I'm just going to start using that as my workout. I'm going to get buff in no time. Hatred is an emotion and meanness. These are emotions that you have to carry with intent. And when you carry an emotion with intent, it takes energy from you. Think about when you're reading at a library. You're chilling. You never get tired doing that if ever. Think about when you're talking. Eight hours straight. Little bit more energy, right? Little bit more effort. So, just like I predicted, it looks like people are already having trouble staying mad. If you were truly mad, you would sit here and wait until you had a chance to talk. But they all ran. And this proves a point. I don't think these hate watchers, none of these motherfuckers, I don't think they're going to be able to stick around for that long. Look at how they can't even do it day one. Look at how they can't even stay true to their anger day one. Day one. It could also be the time that you streamed. It could also just be that people don't want to put themselves down to your level. Or people who came from Spoken Juke's community, he had told them not to do anything like this. So it could be that. But speaking about something that I actually know, because I don't think he knows too, too much about psychology here, uh, let's talk about sampling bias, because that's what this is. When you want to take a sample, you want to think of it as like a nice mixed soup. You want the sample to be a good mix of everything you're sampling. Now, he's taking the sample from his stream, and at the time he did it, he said he ran a bunch of ads, so he's not surprised people left, but then he talks about it's the hatred's not strong enough, which, again, kind of contradicts itself. But, I mean, when you make your Twitter private, you'd probably have a lot more comments on your Twitter. Because if I'm going throughout my daily life, you know, someone has a job, I can't stick and watch your stream, and frankly, I wouldn't want to support you in that way. I wouldn't want to give you extra revenue for ads. In fact, the only reason I stuck around was because I saw some shit you were saying about, you know, quote-unquote spooks and jukes and playing the victim when you're clearly wanting this for attention, and that's the only reason I was there. So, again, I think this is just simply stupid, my guy. Like, cut this shit out. My guy, instead of banning people for talking, try to use one brain cell, another ableist comment, Gotta love it. Another another ableist comment. Wow. Way to make fun of people's mental. I thought that was what I did. I mean, that's just a common insult. It's clear this guy wouldn't survive five seconds inside of an Xbox 360 Live lobby. But I believe that is what you did. I know you're joking about it, but I think we can pull up a clip, right? I had to delete the first part. We have a teeny bopper that self-identifies as important with 16 different medical labels. I'd like to point out that the guy who apparently is ableist by taller toe standard, he didn't say that he had one brain cell, he just said try to use one, which I don't see as ableist personally. But, you know, let's talk about the medical labels that people use in their Twitter profiles. Uh, which, uh, which medical labels were we talking about, uh, Tyler Toast? You want to you wanna specify? You want to elaborate on that subject a little bit? Or are we just going to let that one slide too? Well, another ableist comment. You got to love it, folks. To understand what they say. What everyone is trying to say is that you are what is ruining the Dead by Daylight community. Yeah. Okay, so what? I don't care. Now what? 22-minute video showcases that, like a free ad for me. I agree with everything in that video. Now what? See how... Your offendedness doesn't matter or carry any weight in the real world. You just said, well, people are trying to tell you you're bad for the community. I know. A community filled with pedos, confirmed groomers, racists like your streamer, sexists, ableists, and more. In a community filled with multiple confirmed pedos, I'm the bad guy because I complained about a nurse once and I said the word troglodyte, which means caveman. I'm the bad guy for this community 
went over five confirmed fog whisperers, got removed from the program, two of which were pedophilia, one of which was for abusing their cat, on camera, another one was telling another fog whisperer to kill themselves, and a one was racist. And I'm what's bad for the community because I pop off, I'm honest about my pop-offs, and they don't break TOS. I can't speak much for the fog whisperer thing because honestly, I didn't know about that and I didn't feel like researching it for this purpose because that's not what this is about. But by that logic of his argument, there are bad people in this world and that's, that's a fact. There are bad people, you know, there are murderers, there are serial killers. But what he's saying is, because there are bad people in this world, I mean, that means I can be a dick. Uh, and he says he doesn't break TOS, but I, I believe I have some clips that show otherwise. Uh, let's pull that shit up, shall we? Well, 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 I just saw confirmation that you weren't wrong on the pedophilia idea. Wait, you mean another streamer that claimed he was going to use my VODs without permission ends up being a pedophile again? Color me surprised. Color me surprised. You mean the streamer that is currently trying to come after me is literally grooming his community? What a shock. Color me surprised. Can anyone give me his name in chat, please? I'm reporting him right now. What happened? We have a streamer that admits that they're in my channel stream sniping. They then have one of their mods snipe the lobby and work with him to kill me. Then they claim they're going to use my VOD against my permission and upload it. So I deleted the VOD and now we found out he's a pedophile and he fosters a pedophile mod. Ah, uh, yes. The good old non-breaking TOS rule of I'm going to accuse another streamer of being a pedophile with no proof. I'm going to accuse them of grooming their community. I'm going to abuse their mod of being a pedophile, even though he's 16, but that's fine. He's, he's a pedophile, right? Oh, yeah, and I'm going to spread lies about him stream sniping, rigging the match. Oh, and I want someone to put his name in chat so that my community all know, see his name and they can go to his channel. But, you know, it's not TOS, guys. It's not breaking TOS. Come on. Come on. You're silly. What I'm trying to tell you is, even if I get banned for what his video covered, I'll come back and say it again twice. I don't care. Your offendedness doesn't matter. Your feelings don't matter. And how disrespectful you took what I said doesn't matter. I'll say it again. And look at that. You're powerless. You are banned. And yet, I am still able to talk. Isn't that neat how that works? This man reminds me of a 13-year-old that just found out he can become a cop in GTA. How did spooks threaten your kids? Oh, I've been waiting for this one. Did you know a streamer is wholly responsible for his community? Yes, it's true. Streamers bigger than me and Spooks combined, like Moon Moon, who streams to 15,000 viewers. Angry Pug, who streams to 2,000 viewers. Did you know that they keep in control of their chat? They have no recorded proof of their community threatening people? Did you know my community has no proof of me being a racist or threatening kids? You did call a kid a pedophile, though, so there is that. Did you know we have multiple confirmed proof? You can go on Twitter right now and look at the hidden responses. Where? Did you know we have multiple confirmed threats from a community called Spooks and Jukes? I'm sorry, let me repeat louder. Where? Also, who the fuck is this Spooks and Jukes guy? I mean, you, you'd think if you truly thought you were under attack by someone, you'd know what their actual name is, right? I, I, I'm not crazy here, right? Like, they didn't scream, the purple coats were coming, right? I believe it was the red coats, the British. It wasn't, holy shit, the Russians are coming to kick our ass. Did you know a streamer is wholly responsible for his community? Why is it that a streamer 20,000 times the size of him can keep better control of his community with no death threats? So what am I getting at? You're the company you keep. You may not be a pedophile, but if you hang out with pedophiles, you know they're pedophiles, and you do nothing to stop their pedophilia, you're a pedophile. Did you know that even though some of them were good-hearted, did you know that even if you had best intentions in mind, if you were a Nazi in Germany and you hung out with Nazis and you did Nazi shit, you may not be a Nazi at your core, but you're the company you keep. You're a Nazi. No, see, to the pedophile one, yeah, that's fucked up, but that doesn't make you a pedophile. That would be breaking a law, though. It's a mandatory reporting law. You're supposed to report it, and that's a different thing you're breaking. Also, you just said if you were a Nazi and you hang out with Nazis, that makes you a Nazi because you're the company you keep. But, but you said in that analogy that you were a Nazi, so you were already a Nazi. Like, can, can you get your shit straight, please? Like, I'm trying to comprehend it here, but it's just not happening. So what am I getting at? He may have not threatened my kids. His community did multiple times. He made no attempt to curb that behavior, and it's still happening. I believe, once again, like the old lady from the Wendy's commercial, I'm going to have to ask you, 
where, but also there is a clip of Spook and Jukes in the video that you are talking about where he explicitly says not to go harass you. So we're going to watch that too. I'm not going to be mentioning their name in this video because even though this person is super toxic towards others and has slandered me on multiple occasions, I still don't want people going and harassing them. So if you are responsible for your community, then they reflect you and it's like you did it. Disagree? I don't care. I'm right. Imagine listening to a clown. Yeah, let's bring up clowns. Did you know Spooks and Jukes only made the video because he's mad that I beat his two one-tap using, one-tap perk add-on using Red Mori Clown, and I did it with ease? Did you know that he tried to make a video calling me a bad player? And I'll agree to that I am for my outrage. Then how did I beat him? Speaking of clowns, did you know that the reason Taller Tones called me a cheater and a pedophile was because I beat him in a game of Dead by Daylight? And I did it with ease. Spooks didn't make the video to uh, get me off the platform. Why am I not banned? He made the video because he's mad that I beat him once in a video game. Yeah, so when Taller Toast reported me for being a cheater, a gamer, and a pedophile, he didn't do that because he wanted to get me off the platform. He did it because he was mad at a video game. That's his own logic, so all right. Uh, you're advertising another streamer and not typing anything of value? Next. This man seriously bans people for using emotes from other people's Twitch streams. I just wanted to point that out. Let's move on. I see the point of view from both sides, but I try to be positive and not spread hate. I prefer to spread love. Yeah, so go ask Spooks and Jukes, what's my message history look like in his channel? Oh, wait, I've never typed in it, nor sent any of my viewers over there. Oh, but we can look at his message history. It's my right to show this. It's public information. Oh, let's do it. Let's play a game. It's called, I have no message history in Spook's channel. I have invited no hate, nor said to go hate him. Let's go look at his message history, shall we? Oh my god, well, I'm so sorry, because I, I didn't realize, because you never typed anything in my Twitch chat, but you called me a pedophile, a cheater, and a game rigger, but if that means you weren't toxic because you didn't type anything in my chat, I'm, I'm so sorry. I apologize, I, I didn't realize that you were being nice to me, and uh, there was never anything there that was TOS breaking. First message in my chat ever. First message in my chat ever last year. This man is hilarious. Someone sent me a clip of yours wanting me to expose you. But, keyword, this is what every one of you motherfuckers refuse to admit. So, you guys claim he was joking. Was he? Then why did he use the word but? This is coming from the man who said that he didn't care that he was a bad influence for the community. He didn't care that people were getting offended and that he has the thickest skin in the community. And yet he thinks this is a threat and he thinks that it, the counter argument was that he was joking. It wasn't either. He was just simply saying somebody sent him a clip to expose him because Spook and Jukes does these policing things. You know, it's his little gag on YouTube and... He went to your stream and he said, oh, wow, this man's funny. There's nothing bad here. There's nothing toxic here. That's not any of what you're saying. I don't understand how you're so stuck on this unless you're doing it for attention, which it is very clear to me at this moment in time. This is the only reason you're still going on with this. Hold on. Did I not just see a 22 minute video holding me accountable to my words and actions? Well, OK. This is my first interaction with this guy. Let's take a look. Someone sent me a clip of yours wanting me to expose you, but you were funny. You were hilarious and not toxic. So he came in, second message ever, don't know this guy, except that I get recommended videos of him spreading hate. And he claims, I was here to assassinate your character, but I won't. Therefore, instilling a self-prescribed importance and... Like he was a character assassin. At this point, the only one that's assassinating Tyler Toast's character is truly just himself. Also, I feel like Tyler Toast probably didn't watch the video Spook and Jukes made because if he did, he'd understand that what Spook and Jukes was saying was not a threat. It wasn't assassinating his character. He explained this all in his video, but it's clear he didn't watch it, so alright. Oh, let's take a look at his message history. Since we're accountable for our messages, after he said that, he claims, but I won't. I said, well, you're not going to. You have no permission from me and you can't use my video. So let's see what he said after that. This is the juicy one. You guys ready to see what he said after that? This is the juicy one. Let's take a look. We're going to zoom in. We're going to zoom in even more. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I haven't seen you be terribly toxic. 
I legit just came to say, think you're funny. Yeah, but you threatened me in doing it. Ah, hold on. We're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down. I am 100% not making a video about you, man. Never planned to. Never was going to. Huh. Huh. So to the hate watchers, go ask him what my message history looks like. Oh, wait. I've never been to his channel once, nor will I. I'm sorry, guys. This is going to be loud, but I'm going to say it loud so that hopefully Tommy Toast hears. He explained why he made the video in the video. Also, just because you didn't type anything in his chat doesn't mean that the things you said about him on Twitter or on your stream are not bad. You done being a baby about it, Spooks and Jukes. All right, guys, I just got confirmation from Toddler Toast HQ. It was never Spook and Jukes who any of this slander and defamation was supposed to be going to. It's actually a streamer called Spooks and Jukes. That is correct, everyone. Spook and Jukes is now cleared of everything Toddler Toast has said about them. Can we just move on? You got your video. You got your money. You're mad that I beat you, and your frail ego is now recovered. Ah, uh, yes. Let's move on, says the guy who has a segment in his Twitch streams for hate watchers to come in and talk to him. He's really doing a great job of moving on, guys. Can we just agree to move on? Because, honestly, man, your viewers are already hate-fighting each other on my comments. Telling each other to stop doing this, it makes us look bad. And we're only on day four. I'm going to continue sitting here within my TOS rights doing nothing wrong. You know, guys, it's great to know that Twitch has now removed slander and defamation from their TOS rules. Personally, I didn't think they did that, but according to Tyler Toast, he's well within his TOS rights to do everything he's been doing, guys. And I'm going to ask the hate watchers this. What does my message history look like in his channel? Go ask him that since he's your favorite streamer. You should say to him, don't witch hunt him. Since you're a viewer of his, I'm sure you can talk in his chat. It's funny because Talutos thinks that anyone who comes in and says anything that he doesn't like is from Spook and Jukes' community. And also, we just saw people from Talutos' community who can't even talk in his own chat. So, I don't know about that one. Simply ask the question, what did Toast say to you in your channel? And there it is, guys, the same smile of a 17th century villain who just poisoned the entire town's water supply. Reappearing again, the same grin I saw from him when he thought I had no evidence of all the things he had said about me because he deleted his VOD. We're going to keep on uh, follower-only mode so we don't get harassed during the chill stream. But uh, definitely, 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 definitely. Stay tuned tomorrow, chat. We'll do this again. <laughs> Hate watchers, I'm promising you. I will get, dude, chat confirmed. This is two days in a row now. Two days in a row now. Two days in a row. Two days in a row, chat. Two days in a row. Two days in a row, chat. I've allowed people to ask about it and be spoken to. Oh, wait. Spooks and Jukes community isn't saying anything about your kids. Wait, they're not? Bro, you look like that. I can imagine yo ugly ass kids. I know there is no shot that that is the evidence Taller Toast is using to say that Spook and Jukes' community is coming after his kids. That is an insult that you see in third grade. And the man with the self-proclaimed thickest skin in the Dead by Daylight community is offended by this and using this as evidence. This is just pathetic, guys. Can anybody show me where my community said that to him? I'll end it on that one, hate watchers. You're going back away now. Say goodbye, chat. Bye, hate watchers. We don't have time for hatred here. Bye, guys. And that is where he ended stream and where I stopped watching. And the man who has no time for hate watchers is the same man who has dedicated 30 minutes time out of every single one of his streams for explicitly reading comments from hate watchers. And if you guys don't understand that, well, I guess you're just troglodytes, and you're not as smart as the genius himself, Mr. Taller Toast.